partnership between yeah. May Siri, the BBC and Playstack and we all want to do an amazing thing with Doctor Who and bring her to life and the world to life in a way that's not been done before. It's something that needs to come to life in new and interesting ways to stand the test of time. What's happening with Doctor Who is quite interesting at the moment. So it's the first time we've had a female Doctor, Jodie Whittaker. Our game is going to be part of that world. And I think BBC felt like doing this in VR would be a, a great extension of what they already do, uh, giving fans the chance to be inside the episode and experience it like never before. You take the role of the companion. We had a lot of debate internally whether it would be you playing the role of the Doctor. It didn't feel right in order to do that. I think the best experiences are where you get to play yourself. We've designed it around that. If you were to suddenly be in the Doctor Who world, you'd probably feel like a fish out of water. So the Doctor helps you through this whole experience, um, kind of holds your hand a bit. Redecorated. The TARDIS has an amazing amount of detail in it. Um, it's been fantastic to recreate the new TARDIS. It's even got a biscuit drawer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had to get the biscuit in there. There are so many controls and switches and dials on the actual panels itself. So we've made sure that anything that could move on set actually works in game. Um, even down to how far dials actually turn. If it's like 90 degrees, we make sure that they actually do turn the correct way. Yeah, it's fantastic seeing a Dalek at scale and coming face to face with one. The Weeping Angels are absolutely perfect for VR. The idea that whenever you look away, they move and come towards you is just absolutely spot on. VR, it's all about experience. Uh, so the simplest thing like picking up a cup, it's really immersive and it makes you feel like you're doing it in the real world. People that have not even played VR, you just see the excitement on the face, you know, they're, they're experiencing something together, even if they're not gamers, it's, it is for everybody, isn't it? Yeah, it's a uniquely tactile experience when you reach around and grab something with your own hands uh, compared to moving a stick or pressing a button just looking up at things and having that experience of seeing the scale and grandeur of some of the environments that we've got in 3D with a massive field of view where you can see everything is totally different to when you were doing it on a flat screen. I'm most excited to watch players go into the TARDIS. There's definitely a wow moment and it's something you can only get in VR I think if you're playing it on a, a traditional console you don't get the same kind of feeling. Everyone does the same thing where they'll open the door, put their head in, yeah. peep around, kind of walk back out, close it and kind of keep doing it back and forth and there's an awesome feeling whenever you do that. A Sonic is the Doctor's most famous tool that gets them out of trouble. It's really cool getting access to that in VR. Like, you do feel like the Doctor, like, oh, you know, I'm trapped in this room and I need to unlock the door and you just, you know, it's like what the Doctor would do to Sonic it. And so hearing that, you control that and then just that little satisfying click of the door actually unlocking and stuff, it's, it doesn't sound like much, but in VR, that's really cool. I mean, the great thing about Doctor Who is you never know where you might end up in the universe or in time. In the world of Doctor Who, the Doctor is this chaotic guide who drags you through time and space. You may not know the destination you're going to, but you will know that that journey, that adventure, is one of the best adventures you will have in your life. So play Doctor Who Edge of Time. <laughs>